All right, so right now, we got Eminem just ended everything. I don't know why. You don't know why, but I'm going to find out. Let's get this video going. Eminem just released a brand new record. In yeah, make sure we, we Eminem quality, just though. released a brand new record, and I have a lot of thoughts the death of slim shady isn't just one of the most notable uh, i'm gonna start off personally i listen to the music bro uh like you can tell me how you feel in the chat i know gavin's a huge fan but you know i don't think it was his best word bro i'm, I'm not gonna cap it's not his best it, it's like you know it's, it's witty it's funny it's it's definitely slim shady it was mid you're right thank you gavin like i'm glad i got the cosign from you because I, I i thought you would honestly start hating but I'm, I'm glad uh, I got the toast line, but I thought the shit was kind of mid. Like, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Like, he could have he could have done better. I, I don't know. You know, it's Eminem. You have very high expectations. And for his final project or something, I don't know, man. I don't know. We'll see over time. records of this year, it is probably one of the most important. Mainly because it's the yeah, it first been. major release since the whole Drake and Kendrick Lamar fiasco ended. But it's also important because it seems like Eminem <laughs> is ready to call it quit. But let's oh, talk bro. about what I mean. It all began back in April of 2024 when Eminem announced that he would be releasing a new album. His first album since Music To Be Murdered By, which came out time, four years ago. And over those four years, a lot of things have changed including Eminem himself because the title of this album was called The Death of Slim Shady. And this caught a lot of hip hop fans by surprise. After all, Slim Shady is one of the most iconic characters yeah, in real. all of hip hop history. And honestly, if you ask me, he's probably the most iconic hip hop character. If only because what the character of That's Slim like Shady so true, did bro. cannot be replicated by any. He's like up there with like I'm not a lie like I'm not rating him as in like steal or anything, but like he's up there with Tupac as an iconic as in like everybody knows who that nigga is, bro. Just like everybody know who Tupac is. If you bring him up, just like everybody know who Biggie is. Like he's up there with them like as in iconic as you know who that is. Like you just know Eminem. Like you know Drake is getting there. I feel like, but I still don't think he's even there. But, you know, this ain't about Drake right now. But still, he's, that's, what, that's where M stands. You know, he's up there where he's just recognizable everywhere. Everybody knows Nobody him. else. And trust me when I say this, many have tried to be the new Slim Shady. But at the end of the day, there's only one have person really, that can be Slim Shady. And he goes by the name of Marshall like Man. And honestly, and it like... was just puzzling to think that he would want to distance himself from the character of Slim Shady. But that's what it seems like Eminem wants to do. Fans were introduced to this era by the way of the song Houdini, the lead single of the record, which presented what this album might so sound good, like. Yeah, you're right, no one is trying to And in classic do, Slim Shady fashion, <laughs> it anymore. did sound like something Eminem would release around 2005. Which I know isn't necessarily prime Eminem, but it still sounded close enough to it. He was yeah. dropping the slick little jabs at different worked, celebrities. He dressed up like Robin in the music video, it just funny, like though. the old days. And it seemed like, at the very least, the classic Eminem spirit was back. And even if the track had a mixed reaction at large, Eminem fans loved it as the track not only they yeah, debuted like number classic, two on the Billboard Hot 100, it also became like the Eminem's second so biggest ever streaming debut for a hip hop song. The only okay, song okay, ahead okay. of it, by the way, Kendrick Lamar's Not Like Us, which honestly did catch me by surprise because I do know that Eminem has a lot of fans, but I didn't expect it to be that many fans. And on top of that, yeah, he also that released here. Toby alongside Baby Tron and Big hey, Sean I'm, to hype I'm just gonna fans. stop the, the joint right here, but Toby, bro, that, that song, bro, I can't cap. That had to be so ass, bro. Like, I'm, I'm sorry that I, I, I couldn't do it, bro. I, I listened to it. Like, don't get me wrong. I listened to it fully. But I'm sorry, bro. That, that was just, I, I don't know what they were doing, but that, that just wasn't it, bro. Like, I, I, you know, props to Toby Maguire, bro. I grew up with the nigga too, bro. Like, I understand. That's Spider-Man, bro. I understand, but dog... That song was garbage, bro. Like, come on, man. Like, you, you can't sit there and be like, yeah, I'm bumping that Tobey Maguire song, bro. Like, you're not doing that. That shit is so bad, bro. And it is, it's fine. He got, like, a few hitters in there, bro. You feel me? But he got, yeah, bro. I don't even want to hear it, but that was so stupid, bro. I, I can't. <laughs> like, when Eminem said it, it was cool. But when the rest of them they just said it, bro, it just didn't hit the same. Like, it's just, it ruined the song for me, personally. 
But I don't know. Like I thought something great was gonna happen. Baby Tron, not my first choice to include in this. Like these two right here. I, I don't know. I feel like he should have like somebody else. But it's it, no hate to Baby Tron. You feel me? But I, I just don't think he worked well with them. Like I just personally, no no hate to Baby Tron. Cause I got I got a few of his his, his songs on my shit, bro. Like he's not he's not a bad artist at all. I just don't think the song worked with him. And like I mean, really any of them for real. But. I, uh, don't mind me. I'm not hating, bro. I promise. Like, I'm just for the opinion. album. At this I point, all that. that fans needed to be waiting for Jelly was Roll? just for the album to drop. And New without country, further ado, let's talk about the death of Slim Shady. But I do have to admit, the I record starts out them, hot. And honestly, I also have to admit that when it came to the lead singles for the project, I wasn't that impressed. And that my expectations might have been a little low. I found out with this track, they were way too low. Because this reminded me of why Eminem is Eminem. The track might be just one minute and a half long. But personally, in terms of the flow, in terms of the lyricism and the energy that it carried, I think this is the best Eminem has rapped in more than a decade and a half. There were no <laughs> forced punchlines or rhyming for the sake of rhyming. It was Eminem. And it honestly reminded me of why I loved Eminem so much. And it was a great sign for what this record yeah, was going to be. Because, King, because if you're shit, like bro. me, you thought that this was going to have some Slim Shady songs. But that Wait, this that was going to be an album chain, where Eminem, Eminem came Eminem out chain. and he explained, Hey guys, I'm not going to be Slim Shady anymore. Did y'all accept me for that? I was wrong. And I mean, of course I was wrong. Honestly, if you follow Eminem for, for a long time, you know I things he was like are never that simple. In fact, Slim Shady raps over week, the though. entirety of this record, or at least most of the record, I should say. This is mostly explained through the skits, which I forgot to mention is very important in terms of understanding this record. Because for those who don't know, The Death of Slim Shady isn't just an Eminem album, it's a conceptual Eminem album. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I really can't think of the last time Eminem committed to a conceptual album the whole way through. At least not in the way that he did on this record. And keep in mind, I'm not saying hey, he's never point. done it. I'm just saying it's been close to two decades. But yes, if you do follow the plot of the album, it's basically Eminem and Slim Shady having a fight <coughs> over who gets to rap over the beat. With mostly Slim Shady like being the one that on comes beat. out on top. For lack of a better word, Slim Shady is bitching Eminem. And because Slim Shady has so <coughs> much hate for Eminem, his one goal is to get Eminem canceled. What? I mean, he knows what he has to do, bro. Gen Z's trying to what? We all know what he has to do, bro. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Y'all ain't understanding, bro. Look, there we go. We got the camera nice and close. Y'all feel me? Y'all y'all in the presence? Y'all in the room with me? We all know what he has to do, bro. Gavin, you know what he has to do, bro. He wants to get canceled, bro. Go ahead and say it, bro. Just let us hear it on the track. I'm, like, pretty certain there's a video out there of Eminem actually saying it already. So it's, like, not even a big deal. But he knows what he has to do, bro. Tell the nigga to lock in. I already spoiled it. But tell him to lock in. And he knows what he has to do. But anyway, we don't roll on, man. What? Cancel Eminem. Well, kind of. It's, it's more like Slim Shady trying to get Gen Z to That's cancel fine, Eminem. It's, it's not really Gen Z just canceling Eminem out of nowhere. You know what I mean? And honestly, I think it's a pretty good send off for an iconic character. Of course, we haven't seen Slim Shady like that since... I don't know when. And honestly, I haven't seen this much of Slim Shady since I don't know when. Obviously, That's true. it is simple to say that Eminem is technically always Slim Shady and that Kamikaze was mostly Slim Shady, but I think it's a very distinctive distinction between the two. Like, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I feel like there's a difference in how they rap and what they rap. Like, if you ask me, Slim Shady really isn't the guy that's getting up yeah, close and personal his about his feelings, sure. you know? And what's a better goodbye than Slim Shady essentially pissing everybody off and blaming it all on Eminem, taking no responsibility he, and writing off? off they, into they the actually mad? And of course, I could get into more of the storyline of the album. I feel like you t he can't like piss anybody off anymore, bro. Like not truly, anyway. Like if he did say the N word, bro. You, can, you know how much respect this nigga will probably get, bro. And it's like, oh, he finally fucking. Like, he finally said it, you know, at least loud enough for people in the back to hear. So, so he probably said it before in, like, some songs, bros. I swear I've seen it somewhere. But, like, for the niggas in the back to hear, if he said it, bro, I feel like he would gain so much respect. 
and it wouldn't even be a big deal. Like, he, he really ain't pissing nobody off, bro. Who's he pissing off, like, exactly? Like, nobody, bro. Like, th this music ain't pissing nobody off. This generation is not uh, uh, caring what he's saying, like, for the most part. And it's like, you know, hate, no hate to the boy, you feel me? But, like, no, no, one's, try no one's mad at him, bro. Like, it's like he's trying to incite the hate on his character for what? And, and like, yes, he wants everybody Personally, to, like, forget him. I think if you haven't heard no, that's it, impossible. you should check it out. And if you have, drop a what comment think, telling man? me how you interpreted the album and how you interpret Slim Shady. And if this is truly the end for Slim Shady, then I hope he rests peacefully in peace. Because I he do well know that he will not right stay there. dead for long. As for Eminem, though, I truly hope that this isn't his last album. Mostly because... Eminem showed a lot of fire in some of the tracks of this album. For example, Het Han Show and Renaissance are two of my favorite Eminem okay. songs of the last decade and a half. And personally, if he could consistently rap on that level for, let's say, 10 tracks, 11 tracks, we might have a late career classic. And I know some of you might say that Eminem already has classics and that nah, this very really album does. was a classic. And I'm not saying he doesn't, but personally, I'm not feeling this album that much. This like I did think it was better than I expected, classics. but at the same time, I hoped for more from a Death of Slim Shady album. However, I do think that this does open a door for Eminem to be more introspective coming in the future. And I'm really interested in one of those. Let's say an album where he talks like he did on the song, Somebody Save Me. Because if I'm keeping it a buck, Eminem is 50. And I would <laughs> like to see him grow more artistic. But if this is the end for Eminem, I think we all owe him a thank you for what he has done for the culture. And of course, that might that raise dumb, some man. eyebrows because Eminem, quote unquote, isn't part of the culture or whatever. But personally, I How's do he not, think he is. Bro, time out, bro. Is, is he still really not part of the culture by now, bro? Like, damn, it's been like fucking 30 years, bro. Like, these niggas still ain't accepting him into the fucking community, bro. Like, holy shit. Like, he's, he, the man been grinding for years, bro. Y'all niggas still ain't happy with him, bro. Like, he ain't got all this respect already, bro. I feel like he has. I feel like he already got his place. He earned that shit. Like he, he's cool, bro. Like I feel like we, we good. Like I said, bro. Like, don't even say the N word, bro. We are, we already, we waiting for it, bro. Last, last hurrah. That should have been your last fucking piece. Just like nigga, and he out of there. Like simple. That greatest rappers so of all time, and he brought over one of the greatest careers that the landscape has ever seen. And we're already done. All right, that was Eminem. Just ended everything. And if it's truly over for Eminem, you know, it was a good run. He had a great, fantastical run. He got to diss a few people. Stop quoting Eminem, bro. <laughs> but Eminem, phenomenal career. He had a great run, but he's ready to shut it down. It is what it is. It would be nice if we saw, like, you know, some kind of legacy from him, but unfortunately, we don't, like, we don't get to really see one, like, in the rap game, you feel me? But it is what it is. We got plenty of uh, copies coming up, probably, and uh, plenty of current copies, so we're good. You should d diss M. Like, you know, wait, like... A few years and then diss Eminem and then uh you know you might bring him out of retirement, you never know. You gotta pull MGK though, you gotta really make him mad.